I'll show you uh, a demo uh, where where uh, you can see that how MSBI can do the extraction from the different places. Okay. So uh, one important thing is like uh, which which where I want to tell everyone is uh, we, we will run this course. Okay. So if what we'll do is we'll run this course in SQL Server 2014. So there's different versions of uh, 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 MSB available now. So let me tell you something about the versions. Okay, SQL. So MSB started from uh, 2005. Okay, so before 2005, there were concepts of ETL in uh, SQL Server I mean, in Microsoft, but there were very very old technologies. But the pure MSB started from 2005. Right. So 2005. Then I have. Uh, and then the next version they released is 2008, in the year 2008. And the next version, very, very stable version with lot of features, something like MDM, all those things are available in 2008 R2, which is a release tool. And then they released a version called 2012 with powerful tools like data quality services in this, right? And high availability tools. And now recently, they, we have an version, which is SQL Server 2014. So in this, in this uh, course, right, what we'll be doing is we'll be learning SQL Server database, we will be using the SQL Server database as 2012, okay? But we will learn MSBI in 2014, okay? So this is MSBI is part of SQL Server 2014, right? So SQL Server, you can have the option to install the MSBI. So what we'll do is we are going to run the very, very latest version in the market. Okay, we are going to learn the 2014 version which is very latest in the market. So what is advantage for you for learning the latest things? So you, you get a chance to learn very new things where other uh, players or, or where or other developers in the market who are already working in the MNCs or companies on MSB may not know. You will be knowing those concepts, right? So when you go to the interviews or when you get an opportunity, you will be standing a step forward from them, right? And when you learn the latest version, what is the advantage? You get to know the concepts of old things also, right? So, but uh, practically, uh, once you learn the SQL Server to uh, MSBI 2014, you will be able to do something in 2008 or 2012 also. Okay. So, what I want, what I want to show is uh, like there are some uh, uh, differences, uh, some changes uh, from 2008 to uh, 2014. So example, so this is uh, something, uh, this is SSIS, I opened is the 2008 version of it, okay. So I opened the 2008 R2 version of SSIS. So this is something SSIS, uh, there, there are a lot of things in the SSIS, uh, uh, there are a lot of things in SSIS where you can study, but as this is a demo, I don't have a chance to tell you all those things, but what I'll be showing is, if you can see my screen, right, uh, as I told you, I am very, very enthusiastic in uh, learning the different concepts of SQL Server and MSBA. And what I do is every time a new tool comes, right, I do, do the installation of it, try it, and implement it in my local computer. If you see my local computer, I have all the versions of SQL Server and MSBA, right from 2005, 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, 2014. So I have, I have all the different things. So in every bit, like you have the different, different ports of see it later, right? So this is uh, uh, this is something how the MSBA looks like. So, so this is 2008 version. So if you see this, right, uh, uh, we have the different tool sets here which can pull the data from the different sources. So specifically we have a concept called data flow, okay? So if I go to the data flow, right, so we have the different kinds of transformations. I can take that uh, my source can be Excel source, flat file source, OLEDB source, raw file source, uh, XML source. When I say OLEDB, it can be DB2, Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, Sybase, or any red bricks or, or anything, right? Any kind of database. So I can uh, do the transformation of the data into variety of formats. And what I can do is I can load into the variety of targets. So what kind of targets I have? These are the targets I have in uh, 2008 R2, right? So the, the, these are the different functionality, but what we will we'll go into the deep dive of all these things uh, during the course, right? It's very, very well. Uh, but what I'll show you is like this particular thing, right? it's a complex scenario which takes in. 
what this example will do is we have some uh, Excel cell spreadsheets. Example, if you go to the AW data refresh and uh, data, I have the different Excel spreadsheets uh, which is having the data here. Okay, so what this is doing is uh, this is taking the data from the different Excel spreadsheets and loading into the uh, called dimension tables and fact tables, which are part of the data warehouse. When I say dimension tables and fact tables. Uh, this anything but it is loading into the data warehouse. So here it is taking the data from those spreadsheets and CSV files and uh, loading into the data warehouse. So how it is loading? It is using the concepts of MSBA. So this is a very complex solution you are going to see. Uh, you take this uh, scenario, right? What it is? It is doing the several steps here, right? It's a very very complex scenario. Uh, it is taking the different data sources and all those things. Performance, it will device, it will be efficient. It will do a parallel processing and all those things. And what it will do is, it will finally go into the uh, a place and it will store the uh, data. So that is the target of this. Like example, how it will uh, store, take the sources and how it will be storing the data. Uh, we will open one of the things. Example, uh, you, you open this. Uh, this is the source. This source is coming from CSV file. Okay. And this is the target. This is the target is nothing but the SQL Server destination. So out of this, whatever you are seeing here, you can see this uh, transformation sources and targets. So what I'll do is, I'll, for the demo purpose, uh, I'll try to load this package. What I'll do is just, this is the project. I'll do right click and execute project. Okay, execute SSIS package. We call it as a package, right? So once you execute this SSIS package, right, it will be a step by step process. Example, so when, when, the, when the task is uh, happening, what it will do is, it will be yellow color. It is something like the street lights. When you go into the street light, yellow color is the standby position. Green is already come and go. And red is something like the error, right, uh, which you have to stop. It is also something green, red, green, and uh, yellow. So if you see this package, right, it is executed now. Whatever you are seeing in the green, it means already it is successfully executed, right? So everything is executed. It's doing a very, very massive parallel processing now. Right, everything is doing, it's going, right, and finally what it will do is it will load into a uh, adventure works uh, data warehouse, right. So, so once this process is completed, we can actually have the uh, progress of it. It has started here and it has dropped the term tables and it is creating something. Everything is there. Once the package is completed, it will show a message called package execution completed successfully, right. So if you see this, everything will be green, right. This is successfully done. This is something which we are doing in the SSIS, right? So how you can track the progress of it? You can just go to here and everything logging and everything is maintained here. It says that all the information is present here. And at the end of the uh, package, it says that it is completed successfully, right? So this is something you saw it in 2008 version, right? So what I'll do is I'll compare the same thing to the 2014 version, right? What I did is I upgraded this package to 2014 version. And actually, it's the same package. Whatever use the package you saw there, right? SSIS package is the same package, but it is in 2014 version. So just see uh, the time taken here is uh, something, and 2014 it will be lesser than that, right? So what I'll do is I'll stop here and I'll go back to the 2014. In the 2014, uh, there are some changes to it. What? But what I'll do is the, these are the very very uh, high le high level things. What you're going, to, what you're seeing here. And they have, uh, if you go to the uh, different uh, uh, control flow, data flow, these are the different concepts, right? Control flow is something like maintaining the flow chart, okay? To make the decision, I mean, to make the workflow. If yes, go here. If no, go here. So this is whatever you're seeing here is like control flow, which you are controlling the SSIS packages. The data flow is something like where you pull the data, right? In the control flow, what you have, you have something like, you can create a database or you can drop a database. Once it is done, you can execute a SQL script. And once it is done, you can uh, start another bulk insert. Once it is done, you can drop the indexes. So this is the sequence of activities you do in the control flow section. But when you go to the data flow section, it is something related purely to the data and its pipeline. So from where, they, if you go to the data flow, right, they will be, there will be source assistant and destination assistance. In the source, you, it may be the source can be 
if you uh, take the so, uh, source system, the source can be XML, flat file, CSV, DB, Toragon, my Sybase, SQL, and it can be anything, right? And target can be anything. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll try to run this package uh, in 2014 version. So you see some changes from 2008 R2 version to the 2014 version. So if you see this package, right, the red, green, blues, uh, the red, green, yellow symbols is converted to into a different manner. And uh, once it is converted, it will just do the right mark. And it's very, very fast. Just see that once it starts, right, uh, it will complete, it will finish so fast. So it is in progress. It is something showing them something like this. Progress completed, right? It is completed, progress. Whatever you're seeing, completed, completed, right? That's it. So it is, uh, here it is in progress, completed, and it will come down at last here, and it says that it is also completed. So the performance of 2014 is much, much better than 2008 R2, and it is giving a lot of competition to the other player. I mean, it will give the, comp because right now it is in the evaluation version, it will be, uh, Microsoft is waiting for a very stable version of this. So you are learning a very, very latest version. So this is started completed completed so it's very fast and it also has something like the progress thing and we have uh, the concepts of event handlers uh, parameters which are very uh, deep concepts uh, which we learn uh, in the taking each example uh, in each module of SSIS right this is something on SSIS 